Greetings friends and family, welcome to Nanaba's Kitchen. So today I'm sharing with you how I make my quick, easy fufu mix or dough. Fufu is like bangkum, but it's made with only cassava and it's fermented over a few days. It is my mom's favorite dish and it pairs beautifully with very slimy okra soup. It is gorgeous. My mom loves this. All we need is cassava. And this is frozen cassava I picked up at the store. We need two five pound packages of it. We're just going to thaw it, blend it, and let it ferment. Let's wash our hands, friends, so we can start. It is always an exciting day when I bring you a piece of my childhood. The way I was brought up, the kind of foods I ate, the culture. That's what shaped me into the strong queen that I am today. So my mom would pick this ingredient up, already made the aglima, already fermented cassava dough from the market. This is actually readily available at all local Ghanaian markets. And the vendors sell them, they have them in mounds. So you tell them the amount you want and they'll dispense just that for you. And you come home and you prepare your fufu, easy peasy. But here in the diaspora, you have to make it yourself because they don't have already fermented cassava dough just anywhere. All right. So you pick up the frozen cassava, yucca, or manioc, also known as all those names I just mentioned. And you thaw it. And then you pick out the woody inedible core. Very easy when it's frozen and it's thawed. This is so easy to handle and prep. So I cut them into little pieces so I can fit a bunch of them in my blender at a time and blend them up. Now you'll also notice right here that the cassava has retained a lot of water just because it was already frozen. So we don't need to add any water. And this blender is pretty strong. I like using it to prepare things like this because it blends it into a really smooth consistency. And that's exactly what you need to do with this blender. You can also use your full processor. You'll have to process it um, a longer for a longer period to get it to be smooth. Getting it to be silky smooth is key here. Now what I'm going to do next is wring out some of that moisture. Cosaglima has a crumbly texture, all right? So we're going to wring out as much as we can out of it and then place it into the bowl in which it's going to ferment over a few days. We're almost there. So again, the goal is to wring out some of the moisture. You don't want to wring it all out. I think it's actually impossible to do that. I'm using a nylon cloth and that really helped me to wring out as much as I could. Um, it's still moist and that's key because it's the moisture that's going to help it to ferment over a few days. So this is kind of the texture you want right there. All right. So I'm going to finish blending the rest and then we'll, we'll begin fermentation. So friends, if you are having fun here in Anava's kitchen with me, if this video is taking you down memory lane as it's doing to myself, if you're just enjoying yourself, if you're learning a thing or two, if you're finding this video to be practical, please give me a thumbs up to encourage me. I am having so much fun taking me down memory lane. That's one of the things I live for. So we're done. I have compacted it, placed the lid on the fermentation bowl, and I set it on my kitchen counter for a few days. Hello there, friends and family. Welcome back. This is the fifth day, and I am going to reveal. Taking that lid off. Oh wow, the air is now filled with that sweet, sharp, pungent aroma of fermentation. It smells like apple cider vinegar, that sharp smell, and it's just perfect, it's beautiful. The texture is still nice and crumbly. It's ready to be stored. And to store it, friends, what I do is I use saran wrap, all right, just the um, safe plastic wrap, and it goes in the freezer. And it will store for months in your freezer, even up to a year. 
if it makes it that long because this dish is so satisfying you might actually deplete your supply <laughs> before a year comes i can never make enough i'm speaking from my own experience but if you make uh, as much as possible it'll last you that long so i place a bunch of it about a handful into my plastic wrap and wrap it completely and then i also compact it all right so there is no air pocket in there and in the freezer it goes. Now you can package them after you section them into a flat rectangular or square shape just so that you can stack them in your freezer. That will help to actually maximize your freezer space even more. This shape here is just reminiscent of how it is sold in Ghana and that's why I went for that, right? So this is all about, you know, being on that memory lane. It, it just, uh, so satisfying for me. So <laughs> there it is. So compact it, make sure there isn't any air. And the reason for that is still to maximize your freezer space. So there you have it. Your agbulima is ready to make the fufu. And talking about the fufu, there is a video coming up in a couple of days in which I actually use this agbulima to make fufu and served it with some okra st stew. And it will pair well also with okra soup. All right, it will pair well also with ayoyo soup. That's Molokai leaf soup, and it's very delicious. All on its own because of that sweet, tangy taste. Even my husband took a bite, and he, he, was, he was converted. <laughs> he really, really loved it. He said, this is better than ugali. <laughs> I'm not trying to start anything, <laughs> but this really has flavor. So I hope to see you in a couple of days when I share that actual uh, fufu recipe with you. Friends and family, please continue to stay safe, be kind and loving toward each other. It is the least we can individually do, especially in these times. Let your words and your actions be seasoned in order to make somebody else's day, to put a smile on the next person's face. It costs no money at all to have those qualities. Friends and family, I hope that you have enjoyed yourself and learned something here today. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up also. Make sure that you subscribe and turn that notification on by clicking on the bell so you don't miss my next video. Also, share this video with everyone you know. Let them hear about Nanaba's Kitchen. Thanks again for joining us. Make it a great day, friends and family. And as always, have fun, especially in that kitchen. Mm-hmm. <laughs>